Linda Davis was 50, uh, 50 something when she came to Sensible Fitness for one goal, to lose weight for her daughter's wedding, and we see that all the time. She had tremendous success. She spent a few months with us, lost over 43 pounds of fat as she gained muscle tone. But then she left us. Why would she leave us? Simple, because she learned what to do on her own. Exercise became a habit. She learned the right program to do. She left us and is now performing the exercise program on her own successfully. Let's take a look at a brief moment of her workout. Linda. Yes. How about we target the abs? Okay. Okay. Everybody wants the flatter, tighter stomach. That's so right. We've got Linda on a Swiss ball, mm -hmm. also called a stability ball. We use these quite a bit here at Sensible Fitness. Mm -hmm. She's going to do crunches. So mm -hmm. go ahead and roll out, show them what we're going to okay. do here. I'll describe this as she does that. She's going to walk out, there you go, until okay. the ball's supporting her low and mid back. Mm -hmm. Okay. She'll put her hands across her chest. Some people like to put them behind their head just so you do not crank on your neck. And let's do about 20 of them. Okay. Uh, when Linda started, this was uh, a, a very tough feat. Um, now she, has, she cranks them out. She uh, normally does well over 20, but today we're going to stick with 20. The reason we have you on a Swiss ball, it makes you unstable. A lot more muscles are going to be involved trying to keep you balanced on this ball versus being on the floor. But what you want to do is roll out until the ball's supporting your low back, maybe your middle back a little bit, and then you're just going to do crunches. Uh, she's trying to do a keep, good job of keeping her butt lifted. You don't want your butt to sink down towards the floor. So you keep your butt lifted, and then you do crunching motion, okay? Exhaling as you come up. Good mm -hmm. deal. Okay. Feel the burn. Feel yeah. the burn. Yeah. Okay. Um, how is your experience here? I mean, some people come to a trainer and the trainer literally beats them into the ground so they're so sore they can't function the next day, or it's more of a drill sergeant. I mean, have you been no. comfortable or? Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I haven't had any. I haven't had any problems whatsoever. Um, I'm not going to say that I've not been sore. There's been times, you know, because I'm not You're used. Feel it. Yeah. Of course, I, I figure if I feel it, then what I'm doing is obviously working. Right. Uh, uh, I've not been. To to the point where, oh my gosh, I can't get out of bed. Right. But uh, no, I do the treadmill and then I do my strength training and I'll get sore maybe through the shoulders or something like that, but nothing, okay. <laughs> nothing yeah. that's unbearable. No, yeah. okay. if, if I didn't get sore from time to time, I'd wonder if you were doing your job. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> it kind of gives me an indication that I am, that's I am working out. It's real common for women to get sore in the upper body too. It's just yeah. typically a weaker mm -hmm. muscle group for a yeah. lot of women. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. That's good. Yeah. And um, nutritionally, how have you been doing with your diet and things like that? Yeah. Uh, well, I've had to change my diet. Okay. Yeah, I had to change my diet. Change the one that from the one we give you? Or? No, no, no. no okay. I, yeah, I had to make some uh, changes around because right. eating the same thing over and over doesn't work. Right. And you know that. Right. Uh, but I had to change from the way I was eating before. Right. Of course, portion size and things like that. But uh, I found that, you know, like having the whole grain cereals like that for breakfast is good. And then, you know, then at lunchtime, uh, cutting out a lot of breads and things like that or cutting out as much bread as you can. Yeah. Uh, things like doing things like that, cutting down is what yeah. really helped me a Portion lot. Control. And eating a lot of fish and a lot of chicken, all those big proteins. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's really helped me too. And you know, of course, portion size. Had a lot is it a struggle to do this, or is it starting to become a habit where you don't even think about it? You just you know, at first you kind of notice it, but then when you've done it for a month or so. It's just, you know, it's just second nature. It's what you do. You don't even, you don't even miss it after a while. That's you know? perfect. <laughs> that's, I didn't tell her to say that, but that is perfect. I mean, that's what we try to do here yeah. is instill. That's what we call it sensible fitness. Yeah. Instill sensible daily mm -hmm. habits that it happens without even thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's going to be a time you might not even need the personal trainer. You've got it. It's a habit. You can go do it on your own. Yeah. yeah. So. That's, that's where I want to be. Right. That's where I want to be, that I can just do it, you know, without right. even without even thinking it's of it. It's a lifestyle, absolutely. Yeah. Second set. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, no, just what you're waiting for. Huh? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. There's oh. different. No, no, don't. I'm not on TV. Sorry. <laughs> Have you ever done it or fell all the way down? Uh, 
on the floor, just on my butt. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, when you first start this exercise, I usually tell people to have their feet spread apart. That's going to make you more stable. As you start progressing and getting stronger abs and your balance starts improving, you bring your feet closer together. That makes it a lot more unstable. A lot more muscle fibers are kicking in to keep you balanced on the ball. So this is a great way to engage the core muscles. Um, I mentioned earlier, I hope I did, to exhale as you come up. It's real important that you're breathing as you're doing this exercise. And uh, having your lungs empty as you come up helps you get a little bit more range of motion. So a couple of key factors is don't let your butt drop down, okay? If it starts to bother your low back, roll out on the ball more so it's supporting your middle back versus just your low back. But, but the more your shoulders hang off, off the ball, the lot more weight that you're going to be lifting with your stomach muscles. So good deal. All righty. You feeling good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so 26 pounds, have you, have you been measuring? Have you, do you know how many dress sizes you've lost? Or? Uh, I think I've lost about, uh, I know I've lost uh, two whole pant sizes. Uh -huh. And uh, I think it's about the same on my shirts and things like that too. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> and you're not going back. <laughs> no, I don't, no, don't no. want to go back. No. Right. Not at That's all. That's cool. Not at all. Um, when everyone that comes to Sensible Fitness, we set them up with a diet. And it, mm -hmm. as Linda said, you can't eat the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. And um, just from experience, I know a lot of other places around town, they'll give mm -hmm. you what I call a bodybuilder diet. You eat this and only this. It's very strict. You lose mm -hmm. a ton of weight, but you can't keep mm -hmm. it off. Right. So right. Um, the diet that we give you has several choices for breakfast, mm -hmm. several choices for lunches, several choices for dinner, mm -hmm. and they're all interchangeable. So Right, you know. right. And, yeah, and you have things that, you know, there's things that, there's so many things out there too that are that are low in calorie that they're making nowadays right. you know which are great to, to throw in right. there and that, Mix that it helps up. too yeah, absolutely helps. so mm -hmm. it's just a healthy lifestyle that's what we're trying to get going yeah linda's story is truly amazing not only did she lose over 43 pounds of fat and decreased her blood pressure she also is now saying her migraines are few and far between what makes her the perfect role model for the sensible fitness family is that she's doing it on her own. Our job is to teach people how to do it on their own so they don't need us. That's why we put out this TV show. So anyway, you can get on YouTube, check out more videos from Sensible Fitness and also more videos from Linda if you'd like. Get on YouTube, do a search of Sensible Fitness.